good morning guys and welcome to today's video today's video is all about Macy's first time meeting the horses uh, you guys might know she's never been down here can you get Willows too she has oh there's no horses. yeah well yeah she's never been down here when there's been horses uh, today we decided to bring her down she's got her nice pink warm coat on and we carried her so she wouldn't get too cold and as soon as we stepped out the door, she started shivering. Yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, she's going to make a little bed in the... Horses' blankets. In the horses, yeah, in the horses' extra blankets, and that's okay. We got Ruby. Macy's like, what is this place? Oh, cinnamon. Yeah, so this is Hero. This is uh, Stella's weight loss sort of supplement. It's also good for um, her healing feet. And it's even good for joints and stuff. It's really good for horses. It smells like cinnamon. It's amazing. That's two scoops of that. This? Mm -hmm. I have to go buy more. Today is also all about Brooklyn. Hi, princess. Hi. Are you hungry? You drink all your food? You eat all your food? We put this, um, Sophie hung up this apple salt lick treat for Willow and she doesn't even try and eat it. Yes, your supper's coming. Where's your bowl? Right there. You're standing on it. Watch out. Watch out. Ugh. We have to leave Willow's bucket in with her at night because she takes forever to eat. A lot of you guys are suggesting that we put the beet pulp in the fridge and we actually have a fridge down here that's going to be the fridge for our barn. As you can see, we don't have it set up yet. We still need to be able to get down here and clean this barn up, but it has to be warm enough for us to do it first. Macy's first time ever meeting Willow. Okay, hold on, let's see. Macy's first time ever meeting Willow. Will, oops, Willow the pooping horse. She lots of poop in her stall. My dog's scared of horses. She bites Storm's nose and Storm still loves her. Oh, yeah, Storm loves little things. All right, let's see. Willow. Yeah. Hey. Look, look at this. There goes Ruby looking. Ruby's like, oh, I'm so happy to have another dog. That's a long name. Anyway, today is Brooklyn's birthday party. So today's video also features Brooklyn. It is her birthday party and I cannot wait to say happy birthday with her and celebrate with her. Willow has definitely come into the whole dog experience since she's come to live with us. Oh dear. Macy doesn't like it. So I know a lot of you guys say never to uh, uh, come close to Willow or do anything that she doesn't like, but in my experience, anything you want your animals to do in the future, you need to do now. So, oh my goodness. Okay, take her off, take her off. Um, that's really cute though, I love it. Um, because it's called social socialization. I, maybe it's different for horses, but in every other animal species, uh, active socialization is getting your animal socialized to all the different environments and things that you plan to do with them. And so that's what we do with Willow. That's why we touch her a lot. That's why we do things that she isn't super comfortable with, like touching her back and touching her body because we want her to get used to being touched because that's the kind of family this is. And she's come a long, long way.
Your dog is eating horse poop. You guys know how when you go someplace and you're just there and you're excited and you just want to have fun like at school or even at work sometimes but then there's that one person that's like always angry and aggressive and you're always on your guard and you always can never just really enjoy yourself and relax and be who you are because you're always worried about that other person. I feel like that's what it's kind of like with horses in the field. Here, Willow and Stella are super well matched and they both have similar personalities. There's hardly ever any confrontation. They're always kind to one another. And I think that's the biggest reason that Stella seems so much more relaxed here. It's because there's no herd dynamics other than just acceptance and kindness. And I wish that for everybody. I wish that for every single person watching this video. I wish for acceptance and kindness. I just realized that I forgot to show you guys what we got at the tax sale yesterday and you guys like a haul. So Gabby got this um, a blanket that I washed and it's just drying. Um, it is a, what's it called? You know, that kind of sheet that you put over your horse when it's cold and you ride to cool them out to keep them warm. Um, we got that. She's been wanting one and that was a big huge find. Gabby got this halter and she loves it because it's blue. Oh gee, some of it just broke off. Shoot, I'll have to glue that. But anyway, she got this beautiful halter with lots of bling. Who's it for? Storm. And the like, is it for Storm or Stella? I'm guessing Stella and I'm like, it's for Storm. Um, and Sophie got this, this lead rope with chain on it. We're gonna use it for at our house because we have one at the barn already. So now we have two of those. And I wanted to give you guys an update on Sophie's gorgeous haircut. Let's see. Uh, so, are you loving the new do? Yes. Yes. And she's got on all black today, looking super stylish. But my phone gives it away, it's pink. And my yeah. socks. Yeah, so she has she a little splash of color. And Gabby is wearing, dun dun dun, dun her party attire, Arion hood sweatshirt, and some jeans, and just, yeah, that's that's her regular attire. Is that your and party? A belt, and a belt. I do not fit any of the jeans that I own, and I need a belt with all of them. People oh. literally like all the pants that I own. Did you make a wish? Did you make a wish? Oh, that was pretty fast one. <laughs> she had to wish quick because Jacob was getting ready. <laughs> Hey guys, we are home from Brooklyn's birthday party. I didn't vlog very much there because it was like a lot of family and people that aren't really into the whole vlog thing. I didn't want to ruin the atmosphere, but anyway, we're home and we're getting ready down to go feed our horses. They noticed us when we pull, when we pulled in. They were facing a totally different way, but now they see us and they're like, "Come feed us!" Go inside. Go inside. We'll meet you there in five seconds. Oh, cute babies. One thing that we have to do before we can do chores is change. I've got my winter clothes on. This is my people outfit. Now I'm gonna go put on my horse outfit. Look at that. They already went, oh, there they, <laughs> they came out. She's like, feed me now. 
<laughs> oh, they make me laugh. So nice to come into the barn and it to be all like fresh and clean. And their stalls all ready for the nighttime. I love it, you guys. Hi. Poor Stella has no blanket on. Put her blanket on. Wait, hey, did you put hay? Get her hay. Uh, yeah, that's her hay. This is Stella's hay. Things are changing, guys. From ice to mud. Can you guys see it? We are about to hit that mud zone. We always close every single door when we leave the barn and when we bring in the horses and when we take the horses out so there's no problems. Stella's hungry. She always snorts. She's always like, yay! So we left her coat off today. We all stop. <laughs> it's hard to believe she's like what's such a smart pony because she sometimes does silly things. Stella pretends to be scared of her blanket. Yeah, I always close every single door. In the summer, I might leave some open. If they come in in the summer, Stella's got her blanket on again. We took Stella's blanket off when we were gone because it was nice and warm out. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, good girl. I hate it when it's all rushed and we have to get back up to the house. It is school day tomorrow. 15 minutes later and we were headed back up to the house. That was crazy. It happens so fast now. We're so freaking good at this, you guys. Anyway, um, I was able to make a bunch of really exciting plans for this summer with the kids and things that are gonna be really fun to share with you guys, but I don't wanna obviously tell you about them. Today's video is probably gonna be super short and I apologize about that. It's just one of those days that we got totally preoccupied with family and friends and we'll be back at it tomorrow don't forget tomorrow is the day the gabby saddle finally comes i've been checking online all day and it's been traveling traveling and traveling it came all the way from france since last tuesday so six days and it'll be at our house but anyway yeah so there'll be a big huge brand new custom Devakua saddle unboxing coming up on this channel soon i can't wait to see it um but that is it for today and we'll see you guys tomorrow Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.